I'm assuming I need to do something in here. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I'm good to flow, thanks. Seems to be anything else to do in here. Oh, I can't go out there yet. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Accidentally in the men's bathroom. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Shit. <laughs> What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't yeah. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep images. it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. I can give him the correct answer now. Expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. 
The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Effects? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. I was trying to rewind the time again. What if I rewind again? Ah, oh, there we go. The right answer. Detail in people's faces, making them... Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. Oh, Christ. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. So just give him the right answer. Shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The right, let's try that again. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still Okay, it's quite quite a uh, cool I mechanic. See you, Max Don't I'll go away. Think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Quickly then. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding just Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Could use something like that in real life. Okay, bathroom. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please. I'm sure it wasn't that way, wasn't it? I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. 
Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir. So I need a hammer to break it open! Tell me. Man, I'm gonna fucking out. Hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Alright, so I, I, I still have the hammer. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Brilliant. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Do I need to check if it's a real fire first? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I'm gonna report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office, please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Hmm. No. I'm, uh, I'll stick with that. If I don't tell him anyway, then nothing's going to happen. And if he does do something, then uh, then he does something. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel I guess he is going to talk to them. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Called him into the office anyway, so... Miss Grant sure is dedicated. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. 
I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Hmm. That's crazy. I get why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yeah, I'll sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I mean, despite the fact that uh, that, that fella brought a gun into the school, I do, I do actually agree. Okay, so he's he's gonna meet us in the uh, in the car lot. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Do you want to tell me where that is? <laughs> right, so that's uh, that's. Where did we get up to last time, page eight? Quickly skip through that. If you want to read the whole thing, you can you can always pause it. I'm just skipping through. Okay, so how how do I get to the dorm room then? So look, there's a sign over here. Dorm that way. Who are you? No one cares. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Who are you? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. I've chat to her. Oh. Hi, Max. Oh, dude. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay, she she doesn't seem to want to be friends. God, these are gonna give me shit on that. No. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Can I just No. Nope. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Awesome. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. 
Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs>